Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here and you've never seen my face before, my name is Cassie. If you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so you never miss an upload from me, and let's go ahead and get into this wig review. So, this wig that I have on is Bobby Boss Jewels in the color FS4-2730. We're going to get right into the styling portion of today's video so I can hurry up and tell you guys my review because I got a lot to say. I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts and opinions in just a minute. But now that you guys just saw how I applied, installed, and styled this unit, let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons. I have quite a few cons to mention, and y'all know I like to get those out of the way so we can end on a positive note. This first con may be a personal preference, but I was not a fan of this color blend. I like the color towards the ends, but I really wish it would have come with a dark root, which is why you guys saw in the styling portion, I went in with some powder and then eventually just took some mascara and added my own dark root. This color blend was very much giving paint by numbers. You know what I'm saying? Like red, black, blonde, red, black, blonde. And I was like, you know what? I, I, I ain't gonna be able to do it. How they did the highlights, it made the parting space look non-existent. And no matter what I added, it just wasn't making it pop. I think I would have liked this wig a lot more right out of the box if it had come with a dark root. The next con that I want to mention is this hairline. Now nowhere on this stock card anywhere does it say that this is a pre-plucked unit so I am not counting against it. This is just not a preference for me because of the price point and I feel like there's so many wigs out there that give you even a little bit of a pre-plucked hairline this one came very rounded and very straight so i did go in because i really wanted to give this wig a shot i didn't want to just put it on and be mad and make this review and be salty and then take it off you know i was like i'm really gonna try so i went in and tweezed i removed a lot of hair and i still feel like it's not super pre-plucked or anything like that but it looks a lot better than had i left the hairline like it came out of the box you know what i'm saying if you're somebody who doesn't mind customizing your hairlines on your synthetic wigs 
this could be a really pretty unit. You do have to put in some work. I'm just gonna say that right now. I'm not gonna wait to the end of this video. I do have one more bone to pick. Look at this stock card and look at the model. This is giving body, okay? She looks full and if it's claiming to be a soft blowout texture, I'm thinking it's gonna be like a yakky unit. You know what I'm saying? Because my hair blown out is not silky. <laughs> She's not silky till I put a lot of heat on that, okay? And this unit was a little silkier than I had anticipated just based off of what the model is looking like. She's a little bit on the thinner side, but the way that they have the curl styled, it doesn't look super thin and I don't get too many gaps. But when I lean my head down, you guys can see. Now to talk on this cap size, I mentioned in my Bobby Boss Rayla review that Bobby Boss units tend to run a little bit smaller. So if you're somebody who has a larger size head like myself, you are going to have to wear a wig grip. My hair is super flat underneath this and this one is fitting a little bit better than Rayla did, but she's still not coming ear to ear. She's not coming all up on my hairline either and I just think that's because of how their caps are constructed let's go ahead and get into the pros I do love this style I love this like brushed out wave soft vibe it's very romantic it's really me I love this kind of style I love this length y'all know I live for like this 18 inch very everyday length I feel like it's really wearable for a lot of people it's lightweight and because it's not super thick even though I mentioned I would have preferred a little bit more density it is super lightweight and you're not going to get a lot of heat around your neck so that is a good thing as well even though i mentioned that the highlights and the way that they did them was a con i do still love this color <laughs> and i'm really happy i feel like i look like fall i look like autumn i feel like that's what they should have named i was gonna say i feel like that's what they should have named this wig but obviously it comes in more than one color so like never mind i do appreciate that i haven't gotten any tangling with this unit and i have been keeping my hands all throughout this hair based off the stock card here it looks like there are five other styles within this collection and they are very much giving texture and density they almost resemble nisha units so i'm kind of curious to see if they come through with the density on these other ones and maybe this one was just a lighter density i'm not sure i feel like she's fairly affordable i want to say she's in like the 30 35 dollar range if i'm not mistaken i will have the price probably in the title of this video if not and you guys are curious i will leave a google link down below in the description bar so if you want to purchase this wig you can click the link and it will show you which website has this wig for sale and how much they're selling it for so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this transformation are you going to be adding jewels to your collection or not and subscribe if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you still aren't i mean hello turn on the bell so you never miss an upload from me and i will see you guys in my next video which will be very very soon